pop over here into betasam.gov. Inside of here, I'm looking for new opportunities. So I'm going to click on this drop down and go to contract opportunities. And then right here, it says I'm looking for, you can type in anything you want. I'm actually going to type in um, SharePoint, just as a shout out to my old, <laughs> old environment. But, and I'll tell you why in a second, because um, when you come down here, I've got 54 results. I don't actually care. So I'm going to get rid of the word now. What I was trying to do is to get to this advanced search page. Fastest way to do that is to select contract opportunities, type in a word. And now you're at this place where you got 96,000 active um, entries in SAM right here, beta SAM. Okay, what I really want to find out, and, and I'm all about RFIs. Um, so what I want to find out are, um, I'm going to bounce around here a little bit, but let me see where I'm at. Um, the type of notice. Okay, so the type of notice is going to be sources sought. This is where you would see solicitation, et cetera. But the one you want is source of sought in today's example. I'm gonna come back up here and, and choose a couple of agencies. I know I want to work with the defense department because I'm supporting customers who uh, work across the defense department. They also work across Department of Homeland Security. So I'm gonna um, go ahead and choose that. Typed in the wrong thing, Homeland is better. Um, and when it comes back, I'm gonna type that guy in. And the last one I'm going to type in is uh, agriculture because a customer I'm trying to help just stay aware of things is looking for these. So these four, I mean, these three, excuse me, are popping up, but there's a lot of sub agencies. The reason I choose these like Department of Defense, I'm doing a lot with the Navy in particular, um, some with the Army and certainly the Air Force. But when I just choose 097 Department of Defense, it'll give me everything in DOD. And what I like in particular is to see everything and then I just filtered away. I'd rather do it this way than to type in a NAICS code, for example, and find out I missed an opportunity because the government typed in a, used a different NAICS code than I would use. Um, okay, so I'm gonna come down here and change some of these other fields. What I'm really looking for is, uh, I don't actually care too, too much about the response dates. What I'm looking for is published dates, right? So let's say, I'm gonna say uh, published in the past week just so it'll help me. And when I do that and click filter, uh, you see that, by the way, you see the agencies took it down to 10,000 opportunities from, or not opportunities, that's the wrong term, but 10,000 entries um, down from 96,000 entries down to 10,000. So now when I click filter on this past week, you'll see it dropped down to 423, um, which is pretty interesting because before I did this video, a few hours ago, I did this myself for something I needed to do. And I thought it'd be a good tip for you. And in the couple of hours on a Friday night, five more opportunities were entered into the, uh, the pipeline here, if you will. So that's pretty cool. Um, okay, and then coming down here, I don't care when the response date is due. And here's why. If I pay attention to the publish date, then from this point forward, I'm gonna be getting notifications of every single RFI or source of sought within these three departments. And um, so I'll be able to catch up. I might miss stuff that's happening now, but it doesn't really matter. I'm in it for, uh, 30, 60 days out for 24 months out. Um, so just getting this notification set up will be perfect. Okay, so notice what I did, right? I cleared everything out. I just said, show me everything in the past week. And then um, coming down here, I put the primary agencies I'm looking for, the type of notice, the sources sought. That's it. I don't care about anything else. Um, I don't want to be filtering down on NAICS code or, uh, or um, set aside codes like I mentioned. Okay. So now there's my results. This is, this is uh, something I'm look, looking for. And ironically, um, oh, I forgot to log in. <laughs> this might make me do it all again, but let's see if I can do this really quick. Um, er, er, er. Okay, so I came back. Let's see if it saved my results. It did, great, so 423. So now right here, if you notice, um, right above this, area. I didn't have this a minute ago. When you're not logged on, you can't save a search. And so now I'm logged in. I save a search and let me zoom back out. And here I'll just call this uh, video demo. How's that sound? Um, you call it anything you, well, you want. It doesn't matter. You'll see it in a second. Okay. So I'm done. The search is done. Now, anytime I come back or in particular right now, when I want to see stuff, I can come up here to this uh, one of this tool buttons. So I'm going to click this one here. Hey, that's the wrong one. I'm gonna click this one, sorry. 
Um, click the drop down hamburger button and over here is workspace. I'm going to click on workspace. And right here is my profile. It's just some basic stuff, but basically I'm looking for save searches. So I'm going to click on that. And when I do, you'll see two here, right? The one I did earlier today and, and one now. So here is, is all I want to show you. I'm not trying to show you this whole page. You can look at it later. But this is the search I just did right there, video demo. Um, you know, you can look at the basic criteria of what I'm sort sorting on. But what I really want to do is right here on the right hand side is actions. I'm going to click that drop down and say notify. When I click on notify, and it's, um, when I click on notify, there you go, it just confirmed it. Um, now what's going to happen is every single day, I will get a notification from betasam.gov that tells me what's changed. Um, and so in this case, there was 400 opportunities. But tomorrow morning, when, some, when I look, maybe it takes me 15 minutes, and I go through and I look at the uh, changed opportunities or things that have been added. And the interesting thing is that um, I'll blow through, and this is what I'm encouraging you to, you to do, I'll blow through those opportunities very fast, but I'll never miss one. And so I want to see IT-related uh, requests for information sources sought, but I'm going to, because of the way I set this search up, I'm going to see welding and construction projects. I don't really care. You know, once you get used to doing this, you can go through really fast and you can see titles. You go, no, that's constructing a bridge. I don't want that. You know, and your, your eyes aren't going to stop on those. You'll get used to just flying through those. And then you'll come to this one that'll say something like, uh, you know, replacing computers or replacing software or software development or cybersecurity and, and you'll catch it. Um, and, and again, this will be for me from those organizations. This thing is an awesome way for you to stay alert or aware of the opportunities that are in the sources sought phase. It's the best time for you to get engaged if you're not actually talking to the customer. Um, there's this rule out there that says, if you see the RFP in, in FBO, now betasam.gov, but if you see that RFP drop and that's the first time you hear about it, you're too late and don't bother going after it. This is the way you avoid that because this comes out often months before the RFP drops. It gives you a chance to respond, perhaps get in the door, um, but it also gives you a chance to put this in your pipeline and begin to prepare capture activity and get ready to write that proposal.